Hey guys, a very short video about um, Bitcoin ETF and some things which are related to this uh, issue. Um, I must say that I, from the beginning, that I basically believe that the decision on ETF, the recently resubmitted proposal from CBOE Van X Solid X about the BTF, uh, ETF bit for, on Bitcoin to SEC will be made, will be announced on early October as it expected f as the latest deadline uh, if you'll count 240 days from the uh, date of the proposal so SEC will take the whole period of time on like a sort of conspiracy theory but really just um, still we need to think of that so what I was thinking is, you see, we had this 240 days already for the first submission and now we have the second submission of the same ETF. So basically made a decision on ETF. And in fact, it was like February 27th or something. And of course, carbon shutdown was 30 days. But you see, the last period of time, maybe last month or something, um, I believe for such a thing like um, uh, ETF submission uh, decision and process processing it should be some formalization some f formalized uh, procedures like putting stamps on papers and making files and everything because it's a huge bureaucratic organization they need some time and an enormous amount of time to make all of those procedures to be done and it, it would imply that basically the decision was already made before the government shutdown or at least operate this proposal make it better in order to uh, make SEC um, like have better chances eventually from the second second proposal so what they did is that instead of that they applied submitted instantly basically as soon as the government shutdown was over yes that's that's it we are submitting again so does it mean that they are know that decision will be positive it is not really clear but also um, if, it, if it just just assume that it was and consider all of those um, institutional uh, investors related events which will happen soon like backed like fidelity in March and many other small ones they would require a lot of regu regulatory uh, support and now if we have the decision from SEC about ETF sooner then it will be a huge huge um, uh, additional sort of sort of reliability for for um, and, and make, make institutions say feel feel more safe because of their what they are doing and like open their the gates for them so it's 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 really not um clear whether it's making much of a sense much of sense but still if you would just assume that it, it is so then everything it comes together with like the whole puzzle so it would mean that SEC in that case will not wait for 240 days until October or whatever. They will make decision maybe for the, on the first date of the decision should be made. Maybe even earlier they can do that. And we don't know when, but it will be a sudden change and sudden decision. And everybody will be shocked and praised. And a lot of the um, movement, a lot of the uh, ground shake will happen. So, of course, as I said, I don't think that this is this is true. I think it's just the alternative way of uh, look at things. But it's really, really suspicious. Um, well, not really, really, but it's just a little suspicious. Let's let's call it that way. That is basically it. What I was going to say, and um, I don't I don't call you to make any investment decisions based on these speculations because it's really speculations but just consider this and maybe you can find some more information on that and have another thoughts so that is it guys thank you for watching and see you in the next update soon tomorrow and maybe more goodbye